snowed again. That means I got a shovel again. It's been a lot of shoveling, a lot of shoveling. I gotta say though, if you got a shovel, this is the kind you want. It's light, it's fluffy, it's quick. And done. You can see the river is starting to freeze on the top here. Now, because this is tidal, it means that it never really freezes solid enough to skate on, I don't think. I've never, I've never tried, but it's always seemed like a bad idea to me. Though, the water here is not really deep. So it's probably worth trying at some point. Not today though. Today you can see it's definitely not solid at all. Going on this would just be, be silly. But uh, with the shoveling done, Christy and I are gonna go quickly to the gym and do a quick run. I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, Elvis right up there peeking out the window. Silly little creature. Oh, hello Elvis. Elvis has never left the house, and you're not leaving today. There you go, bud. Let's go. You're a house cat. Let's get inside. I was having a pretty good run. I was 15 minutes in, and my leg touched the bar here, and I built up so much static electricity, it shocked the machine and shut it down. And I just couldn't, couldn't recover from that. This, this machine is my, my enemy, but I also just got a membership here, so I'll be back to face it another day. Not a fan of that machine, but I guess it's better than not running at all. Okay, today I have to write a script for the next board game that I'm going to feature on Watch It Play. This is a game called Gen 7, and it's got one of the most interesting themes for a game that I've ever come across. The idea is that you're part of a crew with the other players who are on this interstellar spaceship traveling from Earth to this other planet, but it's going to take 210 years to get to your destination. So this means that the people who leave Earth to go to this planet will never see it. It also means that the people who arrive on the new planet will have never been on Earth. And it also means that there's gonna be generations in the middle who've never been on Earth and who will never see the destination. In this game, you play as one of the people from that middle generation who will never see Earth and never see the whole destination and purpose of the mission you're on, which I just think is a fascinating setting. So this is something that I have to work on today. And this is gonna take up pretty much my entire day. So I'm not sure if I can really create a vlog out of today's activity because it's going to be pretty, pretty dry. But I thought I would just try. Yeah. Okay, progress is being made, but we have to stop and get something to eat. No food in the house. the fancy Down East Mall in Montague, and we're heading to the Lady Slipper Cafe. And we're not heading this way. Good to see you. Look at this. This looks great on my resume. You're well on your way, Dave. You're well on your way. There he is, that's David. Best realtor on the island. You want a piece of PEI? This is the guy you come see. That's a, that's a good tip. That's a good tip. Well, that's how are you? 
But of course there's poutine. This is me, right here. Oh, this is me, yeah. Woo! That is a mountain of a burger. <laughs> That's a job right there. See you, Dave. Well, conquered that lunch. Felt like a battle. Approaching Christmas, so that means every stop at the post office means Christmas gifts are arriving. And in this small box over here, some more key forge decks. Okay, well, back from lunch, but whew, was that ever a burger? It had two onion rings in it. It had a whole bunch of like caramelized fried salami or something. It was intense, it was really intense. But now, I'm gonna get back to typing up this script. Which I'm not really doing, that's, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just banging on the keyboard here. Acting. All right, now now let's actually get to this script. What am I? Where am I at here? See you after this is over. Yeah. I'm not done. Uh, I would say still kind of far from it, honestly. But I'm looking out that window and I'm seeing that the ice seems to be freezing up more than it was this morning. And it's just kind of got me thinking. I'm just wondering if this ice could support my weight now. Only one way to find out, I guess. No, 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 can't. No, no, it's, uh, it's probably that burger I ate. Not cold enough yet. Someday though, I had to try. Some would say that's not true. That I should have just stayed in there, and kept writing the script, which is what I'm going back to do. But now I know. Yeah.